हेलो एवरीवन लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन अर्लियर आई हैव सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यूजिंग द नॉर्मल मेथड बट दिस टाइम आई विल यूज द मेथड ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर्स सो बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम डिस्कसिंग अ प्रॉब्लम बाय वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट to discuss the working rule which is uh, behind that how to solve a problem which is based on variation of parameters so you will get questions like this uh, the format will be a d to y by dx square plus b d y by dx plus y equals to x where x is some function of x only now uh, it's uh, better to write that x is a function of x now the first rule is to first step is to find the complementary function which will somewhere be of this format a y1 plus b y2 okay now once you find this the second step is always to find the integ uh, particular integral and that will be of the form uy1 plus vy2 now how to find u and v that is important now your u will be uh, let's uh, take that as your third step that u will be integral of minus of now here you have uh, with u you have y1 so in this with uh, while uh, solving for u you will have y2 multiplied by x divided by now in denominator you will have y1 as it is derivative of y2 so y2 dash minus y2 as it is and derivative of y1 which is y1 dash this is for y this is for u dx and for v you have simply y1 x divided by same denominator so y1 y2 dash minus y1 dash y2 so it's easy to remember denominator is same while uh, writing numerator x is also same integration is with respect to x here with u you have uh, y1 so you will uh, just do opposite just add a minus sign and while solving for u you have y2 while solving for v you have y1 just opposite of this now fourth step is always that your final solution is cf plus your pi so i hope you will remember this step let's uh, punch into the question we have this question first step is always to write it in the form of capital d so this will be d2 plus 1 operating on y equals to cosec x now uh, in order to find my complementary function i need to find auxiliary equation which will be just replace this d by m so m square plus 1 equals to 0 m square equals to minus of 1 okay so m equals to plus minus iota so if i want to write m1 and m2 separately so my m1 will be 0 plus iota and the other one will be 0 minus iota you all know how to write complementary function in this case that is uh, if this if you compare this with a plus iota b and a minus iota b then uh, the complementary function is of this type complementary function is of this type e power a x c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx so e power 0x because a is 
C1 cos B here is 1 so C1 cos x plus C2 sin x now because e power 0 x is again 1 so you will get complementary function as C1 cos x plus C2 sin x now as I told you if you compare this with this uh, then y1 y2 will be same in particular integral also just uh, you will have in place of a and b you will have u and v so your particular integral will be of the type u cos x plus uh, v sin x okay so on seeing this your x is obviously cosec x which is in RHS your y1 is with whatever is with u which is cos x and your y2 is sin x now coming to uh, our step number 3 which was to find u and v so u is I told you minus now so see here uh, with u you have cos x okay so you have to do just opposite uh, with u you have y1 which is cos cos x you have to take one minus sign x will obviously be there but with u you have not take uh, cos x you have to take sin x so sin x into x which is cosec x divided by y1 as it is y1 is cos x as it is derivative of y2 y2 which is sin x its derivative will be cos x minus y2 as it is sin x as it is derivative of cos x which is minus sin x so sin x into derivative of cos x which is minus sin x dx now if you solve this this is 1 obviously so u will be integral minus dx divided by cos square x plus sin square x so u is basically integral minus dx because denominator is 1 so u you are getting as minus x now coming to v v will be integral of uh, with v you have sin x so just you have to go opposite with v, uh, while solving for v you have to take cos x so cos x into x which is cosec x divided by the same denominator so I have solved for denominator I was getting cos square x plus sin square x dx so v is your uh, denominator I am getting as 1 cos x into cosec x so cos x into cosec x is 1 by sin x so this you are getting as cot x whose integration you are getting as uh, let me write this once again so this is cot x dx and you all know integration of cot x dx is log sin x so you have got u you have got v uh, the final answer uh, is always uh, you have of this form uh, which is cf plus pi but uh, let's write pi first so your particular integral will be of this form u y1 plus v y2 so u is minus x y1 is cos x plus v uh, v is here log sin x into y2 which is sin x so to sin x now final solution is cf plus pi so cf was your c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and pi is minus x cos x plus sin x into log sin x so this is your final answer I hope you understood the working rule because this was the first question and also I have the habit of discussing the concept behind every question every time I solve the question so 
this i have also solved by normal method if you want you can uh, have a look at that also link is in description but this is uh, the uh, solving it by method of variation of parameter if you are finding it difficult solve three to four problem based on this and this will become a piece of cake for you thanks and have a very nice day